New Mayapur is committed to addressing climate change. New Mayapur aims to build a climate resilient community which can withstand the various ill effects of rising temperatures. New Mayapur is a model for a sustainable circular agrobioeconomy. Climate change is bound to result in extreme events and hence threaten food supply. Our village has its own vegetable and fruit gardens to achieve food security. Having permaculture gardens also reduces the carbon footprint of food incurred in transportation and distribution from distant places. Yumayapur is working to achieve food self-sufficiency. Hence maintaining crop diversity is critical. Our food gardens grow a variety of crops to tackle this issue. Here we have lots of gardens and forests which help significantly in trapping carbon emissions. We maintain large green areas and forests to achieve carbon sinks. To trap carbon and preserve biodiversity, healthy soil is essential. We hence use natural fertilizers for farming, gardening and food scraps from the kitchen for composting, thereby restoring soil health. We need to restore soil health to be able to prepare the land for extreme events. We cultivate Tulsi, which is sacred for us. She also has several environmental benefits. Tulsi absorbs many harmful gases and gives out oxygen throughout the day. Our village has a dairy farm, where cows and bullocks are protected to ensure a biodiverse ecosystem with carbon benefits. Cows naturally contribute to biodiversity, but when they are exploited, artificially and reproduce in great numbers, they create great methane emissions. It is actually one of the main sources of pollution in the world, probably according to studies, uh, the biggest one. In New Mayapur we follow a very natural system of co-protection to promote biodiversity. In our dairy farm we practice rotational grazing which enhances soil health, locks more carbon underground, recycles nutrients, replenishes groundwater and reduces soil erosion. Because when grazing is done efficiently, its carbon benefits outweigh methane emissions. New Mayapur farming practices create and maintain resilient agroecosystems. We refurbish old buildings for reuse. Preservation of old buildings helps avoid carbon emissions incurred in constructing new buildings. We have a few eco-houses made of climate positive materials available locally, such as wood, straw and mud. They are 100% powered on renewables and are fossil fuel free zones. Écologique et local également. Local dans la mesure où les matériaux ont été pris sur place à 90% et construits avec, euh, avec nos mains également. Local. Our first prototypes of eco houses were successful and hence we plan to build more of them. We are keen on protecting our forests. For heating and construction, we use unwanted trees that need to be cleared, as per government recommendation. In their place, bigger trees with more carbon benefits are grown. We also protect the wildlife in our forests and thereby preserve biodiversity. To reduce the number of cars inside the village, we encourage our residents to use bicycles and there are free bicycles available for them. We extensively reuse clothes and accessories. We have a clothes store where clothes are available for free for those who need them. Our deities, old garments and jewelry are recycled to make beautiful accessories like purses, bags for reuse, which reduces carbon footprint. 
We practice a vegetarian diet, which helps in curbing emissions incurred through massive deforestation for growing feed and the transportation and distribution of meat. The Hare Krishna vegetarian diet can contribute enormously to diminish carbon and methane emissions. Climate change will put the poor at higher risk of hunger. We distribute free meals every day. This is our little bit in fighting world hunger and thereby ensuring a fair climate transition. Natural disasters in the world today are increasing world hunger. We have a program, Food for Life, uh, through which we distribute free food to help the poor of this world. We have a residential volunteering program where volunteers can learn about growing food, gardening and cow protection through practical training. This helps us build a climate resilient society while also spreading awareness and empowering people to take action. Nicolas Prabou, je tiens à lui faire une dédicace, vous savez pourquoi Parce que j'étais tout seul au démarrage sur Jardin Perma et il y a eu beaucoup beaucoup de soucis et il est arrivé, il a dit t'inquiète pas, on va faire ensemble. Volunteers can go back home and apply the knowledge they gained at New Mayapur to bring lasting change in their communities. To beat droughts and dry spells, we do rainwater harvesting. We also have many new projects in the pipeline for achieving water and energy efficiency. To build a climate resilient community, New Mayapur needs your help. <laughs>